Uh, speaking of once-off contracts, uh, let's touch on your UK operations because we saw uh, an, you say an unexpected 38% decline in revenue, 17% decline in EBITDA uh, because of the conclusion of that. It seems that investors are basically slightly shaken by this. Uh, will we be able to see a recovery within the contract space in the UK environment? Well, we, we uh, highlighted this time last year that uh, there was a large contract that we had with the National Health Service um, mm -hmm. through our Microsoft business in the UK that, that would not recur. It was a high volume uh, business with revenues of somewhere around 40 to 45 million pounds, uh, but low profit. Um, and in fact, it didn't, uh, it didn't renew. So we did see the come off in the revenue, but we were fortunate to, uh, to pick up um, uh, some of the gap um, through other contracts at, uh, at higher margins. So overall, the, the UK business um, met our expectations. And uh, certainly as far as contracts are concerned, uh, there were a couple of other decent contract wins in the, in the South African space um, uh, that, that offset that UK loss. Let's touch on your revenue splits. Powertech accounting for 32%, Bytes for 26%, and Altec for 42%. We know that Altec has actually also had some challenging times. We've pinpointed the East African operations as quite an issue, mm -hmm. uh, and we know that there are strategies afoot to try and change this scenario. Are you expecting a better performance from Altec going forward? Yes, I think we, we are expecting that, um, that, that performance will improve at, uh, at, at Altec. Um, uh, we, East, you correctly highlighted the East African operations, and that's really where the, the issues lie. Um, the rest of Altec is in, in pretty good shape. Its, it's two biggest operations, Netstar and uh, Autopage, both grew uh, in, in the double-digit uh, range. So um, that bodes well. Uh, we've got to focus our attention on, on correcting um, the problems in East Africa and getting that business back to um, a respectable profitability levels. We saw Bytes doing quite well, in fact, where we saw a 28% uh, increase in earnings there. Are you expecting double-digit growth going forward? Yeah, we don't expect that uh, that level, the 28%, will be repeated uh, when you look at the full 12-month period um, because um, we, we, we've got a big base in the second six months to cover from last year. But we certainly do see uh, good growth coming through at Bytes and uh, as you said, uh, met, met all our expectations and uh, had some key wins in the, in the retail space and also in the financial institution space. Mm. With regards to Iberia, what plans are afoot? Yeah, Iberia is a, a, a obviously a globally a, a very challenged uh, area. Um, if I look at our local cable operations, I think the, the, the light is at the end of the tunnel. We're seeing some improved uh, results coming through there. But Iberia remains very, very challenging, um, particularly since uh, many of our uh, customers in, in Spain uh, was in fact the government um, through, through Telefonica and the high-speed train. But um, that's, uh, that's spending through the austerity programs has been cut back quite dramatically. Uh, fortunately, we have won a, a fairly large contract in the UK um, through British Telecom that will help to offset that a little bit. Mm. Well, we know that Powertech actually saw a 41% drop in earnings. Are you expecting a better number going forward? What are you telling the market right now? Yeah, look, you know, we, uh, we clearly had at the half year, we had a much higher tax rate than what we had in the, in the prior um, comparable six-month period that that we expect to normalize by by year end so certainly uh, even though Powertech was down as you say the 41 percent if you look at EBITDA uh, they were only down 13 percent um, so that's that's really the measure that we look at uh, which strips out some of these uh, tax effects uh, operating margin at 5.4 percent from the 5.9 percent yeah a little, little bit down today? and um, driven around our, our cable operations, which uh, uh, the rest of Powertech again did quite well, but uh, cable operations uh, had, had a tough time.